Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to Playframe and Outer Wilds. We haven't got much time. The world is falling apart around us in the most literal possible sense. And uh, I don't even know where we can go or what we can do. But uh, let's see what we can figure out in the short time we have. Can I walk? Yes. Great. Great. Okay. Where is this going to get me? Where is this going to get me? Come on. Come on. Come on, crystals. I'm counting on you. Uh, wait. Here's something. Here's something. Here's something. Okay. Uh, the Hanging City, north, 250 meters. Okay. Uh, huh. Well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. Guess that's the part to focus on and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good, since I had used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head further north, or further down below, so I can refill my tank. Okay. Oh, this is a map which would help if the ground wasn't changing constantly. Uh, and I don't know what all of them are... Don't really have time to sit and think about it right now. Gravity cannon. East. Cool. Is that what that is? Uh. Let's see how much exploring I can do in this little space here. Uh, yep. Hey, nice. Now where is this going to take me? Back out to the surface? It's not really where I want to go, but... Yeah. Let's see where it takes me. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, this is different. All right. All right. We're on to something. Oof. We got to do jumps. That's bad news. Okay. Uh, seize the day. We have so little time to be bold. Let's take advantage of it. We're kind of right on the equator right now. Underground. Not near either pole, looks like, according to the map. Where might I be headed from here, though? Hmm. Gracious. Yep. Okay. Boy. Those jumps make me nervous. All right, we're headed in the direction of something, though. This might be the gravity cannon. Possibly. If we can get close, and I think we maybe can. Oh, that's a long jump. Maybe this first? Ooh. Oh, yeah, something over there has definitely fallen. Okay. Let's move it along. Ticking clock. Go, go, go. Boy, I wish I could run. Can I run? That's the thing I should really check. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't see any controls menus anywhere. That's fine. I don't think you can run. None of the buttons have done it so far. Okay, go, go, go. Research for your life. Huh. The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. Well, that's not useful. Uh, activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Uh, ooh, okay. Call shuttle home. Rad. Okay. Uh, activate gravity cannon. I say, gravity cannon. Cool. Wonder what we just did. Call shuttle home? Okay, can we get on it? Don't know if we can get on it. May not have a lot of time. 
You know what? Let's send it off. I don't know what it's gonna do. But hopefully it'll achieve something. I can get close to the launch pad or whatever. Hey, here's something to read. The Southern Observatory. Okay. Uh, one thing at a time. All right. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Okay. We're, uh... We're following it, I guess. Okay. Well. Or are we? Yep. No, we're definitely, uh, we're definitely going away. Um. Well. This isn't so bad. Hello. Hello, there is something in the moon. All right. We're gonna have to do that then. Wait, we're getting we're getting closer now. We're we're falling. We're um Are we gonna land okay or uh Okay, ow, not good, not good, crap, nope, all bad. I guess that's what we get for stepping in a gun. If you load yourself into a literal cannon, you're asking for trouble. That's an important lesson. Whew, that was an adventure. What is that? Hmm. Well, let's go back there again, I guess. I'm very curious if the log has any relevant new data now. It probably does. Yeah. A lot of things. A lot of things. Heavens. Okay. Well, let's just uh, start reading a little. Rybex camp. Ryback has set up camp at the bottom of the crossroads. Their excitement at being surrounded by so much Nomai history is matched only by their terror of the black hole. Ryback is Timberhearth's only archaeologist. They overcame their fear of space to explore Brittle Hollow's treasure trove of Nomai culture. Yes, indeed. Uh... The Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow's south pole. Ryback says you can't get into the observatory from the surface. They tried, but there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. There's a door to the observatory on the surface, but it is broken. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get there from within. Yipes. Now, we uncovered a lot of quantum stuff. Including this. <laughs> More to explore here, huh? A huge cylindrical structure that generates a strong upward gravity field. I recalled a Nomai shuttle from the quantum moon. There is more to explore here, for sure. Interesting. How do you... I recalled a shuttle from the quantum moon. So that's how you get to the quantum moon. Do you just have to count on the moon being there? How do you... I, I need to learn more about how quantum works. Uh, all right, next... Uh, the quantum shard. A strange rock shard that wanders when no one's watching. The Nomai determined this shard is the reason objects in this grove behave in a quantum manner. The Nomai hypothesized that this shard is actually a piece of the quantum moon. The shard emits the same signal as the quantum moon. This tower, located on Brittle Hollow's equator, held useful knowledge for Nomai embarking on their first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. The Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Giant's Deep. Interesting. Uh, the Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth, which I thought I'd discovered, but maybe there's a different one. And the Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. 
lots to dig into. I definitely need to explore the gravity cannon more, and I, I need to explore underground in Brittle Hollow more in general. I think there are more places I could probably get to with some luck and probably some deaths. Let's get out there. And in fact, while we're getting out here, let's see if we can get inside Hollow's Lantern. And not crash into the... Oh my gosh. Autopilot, you failed me. Okay. Let's, um, let's land and repair. Haven't done that in a while. What's going on? No, wrong. Chip. Boy. Okay. Okay. For heaven's sake, ship, would you land? Thank you. I think it was uh, the problem was that I was uh, kind of latched onto and matching the uh, moon's trajectory and not the planet's. Let's see if I can fix all this nonsense. Okay. Fixed that. Fix the headlights. Boy. Watch it. Gotta fix that landing camera for sure. Boy, I'm a garbage astronaut. Pretty good explorer, though. So far. I've gone all kinds of interesting places and died there. Did I not fix everything? Oh, the electrical systems, huh? Yeah. That does look bad. Okay, uh... Let me see if I can figure out what else is not working right. Uh, there we go. Fix the hole. How are you looking? Better? You look better. Camera's still cracked, which is fun. Or that's the ground, I can't tell which. It's the ground, okay. What? On Earth? Ship? Ship, you're acting real bizarre. Okay. Match this one's velocity, please. Ship! I am so confused right now. Okay, fine. Go to hollow... What on earth? Help! Ugh, okay. Yes, this one. Thank you. Whew! That was really disorienting. <laughs> okay. Let me finish fixing my ship real quick. Because we have a crack. Can't be having that. Here we go. Ugh. Perfect. Everything good? All good? Great. Oofa doofa. We are getting on that moon. Dead or alive. Or one than the other. I wonder, it may be easier in some ways to... Like, when I'm going back in there, to try to land... To take the ship inside. That's probably stupid, but... Tempting. Okay. Not the interloper. This. Match velocity. Autopilot. Okay. This will require all of my skill, which is a incredibly bad sign because I have so little to use. But I need to land inside whichever one of these had something. Not that one. Watch it. Not that one. I know I saw something in one of these. And it could be that there's an easier way to get into it. In fact, that's likely. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, come on. Oh, that's gonna be difficult. And it's probably gonna catch me on fire if I attempt it. 
Okay. Come on now. Come on now. There is something there. Turn, 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 turn. I can't believe it, we did it. Holy cow. Okay. Careful. Oh, be so careful. Whew. Okay. We're here. I can't believe it. What else is in here to find? Hopefully something. Oh, boy. This is high stakes jumping right here. Ugh. Careful. Oh, come on. Oh, the gravity is so incredibly low. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> All right. There's stuff here. Pick up Timber Hearth Projection Stone. Huh. Okay. Friends in the Timber Hearth Mines, the last type of ore you sent us survives the longest in direct heat. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We are attempting to improve its durability, and our forge has already burned through everything you sent. We'll deliver more ore to the Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the Ash Twin Project's protective shell. My gratitude. I imagine we'll also have an update, updated estimate soon of how much ore is needed to seal off the Ash Twin Project. That's curious. Yes, the idea of an encasement that's supernova-proof, however briefly, has kindled my curiosity, and now mine, too. Will it be more than we initially thought? It'll be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Huh. Okay. Alright. Uh. Interesting data we just attained. Is there anything else in here? Because I definitely don't want to have to get in here again. <laughs> woo. Woo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do that again. Okay. What the heck is happening? Am I seeing Timber Hearth right now? I think I am seeing Timber Hearth right now. Underground somewhere. Either I was seeing through time there for a second, or I was actually literally seeing Timber Hearth there. That was rad. Darn, this game is cool. And I'm definitely going to die trying to get out of here. Worth it, though. That was amazing. Oh, boy. Okay. Yep. Okay. Ow. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, please try to not get hit by one of the lava rocks on the way down. Thank you. Okay. Still alive. For the time being. Let's get the heck out of here. If we can. As soon as the next rock fires off, we'll go after it. Go on. There it is. All right. And we are out. <laughs> Successful extraction. Where is the planet? Let's not hit it again, please. Planet? Pla oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, I wonder now. I do wonder. Would it be easier trying to land near some of this other stuff like this? Hang on, hang on. Don't get sucked in. That's important. 
What is this? Or this? Crap. Landing mode. <laughs> Should have engaged that sooner, probably. Boy, I'm terrible at this. By the end of this game, I'm gonna be amazing. Guaranteed. Okay. What is this thing? Yep. Come on. Yeah. All right. Yep. And success. Huh. Okay. Oh, there's pages to this. Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, or at least. Have you heard from Escape Pod 2 or Escape Pod 3? No, I... I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pod's distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can... Thatch, the moon's approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon's returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We're certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter, and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we should build platforms? Is this how they... I guess this is how they originally landed here. Maybe that was their craft. Can I get inside? I bet I can get inside. Holy heck. Yes. Oh my goodness. We're in. Woohoo. Hang on, there's a lot going on right here. Uh Begin flight log. Escape pod one. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Uh, escape pod three. Launching escape pod two. Launch now. Launching escape pod one. Alert. Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict: hospitable. Interesting. Unidentified signal nearby. What? Like, is it... Wait. Hmm. Okay. Uh, is there another one? Hmm. Okay. Emergency escape hatch. Yep. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Whoops. Boy, this is neat. And, uh, long as I'm exploring... Ugh. So they built themselves like a clumsy little path to get down, I guess? Eh. Careful. This does not look super sturdy. Oh, crap. Nope, bad. <laughs> Use caution, a black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Yeah. Good tip, Plume. Eh. Okay. Crap. All right. Made it. Where are we headed here? There's so much more to this planet than I expected. Are they all this dense with cool things? Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Huh. What led to them crash landing here? 
I wonder. Like, it seems like, and I may be wrong, but it seems like I've found the original site where the Nomayans first arrived in our solar system and then got stuck here. Or maybe they were investigating other planets first, like the, uh, like the moon, and then they were trying to get out here, and then they accidentally crash-landed like I did, which makes me feel a little better about my... flight luck thus far. Given concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from volcanic moon's eruptions. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone's coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eye's signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. That's a wise point, Bloom, and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. Huh, were they looking for the eye of the universe... First, is that what brought them here and then got them stuck here, or is the Eye of the Universe like their ticket out? There's so much I don't know. Which way am I gonna go? Let's check this out first before we go wall climbing. Anything over here? Just gonna double check. I guess another entrance. Um, uh, there's more stuff up there. All right, so this is just their first little village. Neat. All right. Whew. Okay. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No Nomai clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. Interesting. So that's what they're looking for. Hmm. Very interesting. Meh, get out. Help. There we go. Alright, let's explore some more of these buildings. Not a lot of oxygen remaining. Hopefully we'll find a tree. Because I am not getting out of here. Not even sure how I would. Hmm. Let's be careful dropping down. Ugh. Okay. Okay. I think I see a plant down there. Yes. Yes. Whew. Okay. My brother wasn't in Escape Pod 1 with us. Was he in Pod 2 or Pod 3? Was he able to board an Escape Pod at all? We sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot, I will not, allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. Hmm. Things were pretty dire for them out here. But they achieved a lot. They got a lot done. Seems like they built all kinds of new tech for themselves. Did they succeed at what they were trying to do, ultimately, I wonder? Hello? You. Alright, okay, so this is the one I saw before. Okay. Real easy to get turned around. <laughs> uh, have I gone? I don't think I've gone down here yet. Hello, hello, hello.
Uh, yep. Anything? Huh, just keep on descending then. All right. Let's see where this all leads. I'm invested in this path. Eh. Come on. Come on. There we go. We can hear the other escape pods' distress signals, which gives me hope. Foley, are you still here? I'm unsure how to survive in this place without you. I'm unsure how to be me without you. That is a new character. We've not encountered a Kosa. Huh. Not much time left, I don't think. Let's get something... Like, my current situation of this time loop has to be related to what they were doing out here. Or if not here, what they were doing in general. I can't understand. Why did the vessel crash in that place? Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, Anona and I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. I suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. I wonder where else I might find escape pods. Maybe this will tell me. Alright, I have the universe. Their ship, maybe? Dark Bramble grabbed them and trapped them and trapped their ship and they shot out escape pods. One of them is still stuck there. One of them is here. Another... Uh, or maybe this is here. One of them is here. This one. Maybe this is the twins. Maybe this one's the twins. I don't know why I looked outside as if I'd be able to see it. Odds were low. But okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. We are going to find more escape pods on these other planets. And more information. And maybe we have to start pursuing some other threads on occasion. Or going to some other planets now and then. To kind of achieve further progress in the one that I'm currently pursuing. That is possible. Woof. Hey, there it is. The pain of your absence is sharp and haunting, and I would give anything not to know it. Anything but never knowing you at all, which would be worse. I can only hope that you are safe, Keek, wherever you are. This has been a very important find. And I don't think I have much time left. Ugh. Okay. It's a long shot. I'm going to see if I can get back up to the top of this. Ugh. And try to walk on the ceiling up there. Because I had that path. That one, I think. And I don't know if we got time, but it's worth a shot. Okay, here we go. Just bit by bit, take it easy, oh boy. Uh. Okay, we're good. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Almost out of time. Let's see if we can find one more thing before the end. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, where do we go? Shoot, is this a dead end? Or am I going to have to drop? Might have to drop. Uh, chose a wrong drop. Oh, crap. Well, here's something else interesting we might find and die on. Crap. Yeah, <sighs> hit it too hard. Alas, there's so much inside this planet.
<sighs> a lot of good finds in this cycle, though. I wonder if we should head back to Brittle Hollow or try one of the other routes. We'll check the log. Huh. It looks like it blows up a little differently each time, which is the interesting thing. And... Did it blow up that time? That was different. Huh. Well, y'all have yourselves a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more of this space mystery. I'm so intrigued. <laughs> uh, y'all take it easy. I'll see you later, and goodbye.